ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧುರ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರುಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚನ್ನ ಮನಿ ಚಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧಾನ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭಿ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
तदेव रम्मम रुचिम नवम नवम तदेव सदमनुषो मन सम तदेव सौकर्णव शोषण निनाम जदुत्तम श्रोकुजसो अनुगीय तदेव रम्यम रुचिम नवम नवम तदेव सदमनुषो महाश्रम तदेव सौकर्णव शोषण निनाम जदुत्तम श्रोकुजसो अनुगीय गौरिया गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड प्रीचिंग कैन बी डन बोथ वे वन इज नेगेटिव वे अनदर इज पॉजिटिव वे गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट प्रीचिंग कैन बी डन बोथ वे वन प्रोसीड्योर इज नेगेटिव वे एनदर प्रोसीड्योर इज पॉजिटिव वे नेगेटिव प्रीचिंग कैन बी डन वेरी फास्ट बट द रिजल्ट ऑफ नेगेटिव प्रीचिंग इज वेरी डेंजरस नेगेटिव प्रीचिंग इज वेरी फास्ट इफ आई स्टार्ट नेगेटिव प्रीचिंग All over the world, people can know my name. Means they can hear. But if I preach positive way, then the process of preaching is very slow. Even so slow that you can think no preaching, but preaching going on. Positive preaching, though we know. Though we know the procedure of positive preaching is very slow, but the result is everlasting. But the result is everlasting. Suppose I am going to do positive positive preaching in front of you. So that preaching, if there is no aparad inside you, that preaching going to stay you with you. I mean, with your atma for ever. that preaching everlasting never going to be destroyed but negative preaching very testly testful very testful very sweet but ultimate result but ultimate result ultimate result is so poisonous that even you cannot imagine even you cannot imagine even what kind of talk that negative preaching can take you such a low level that you even cannot imagine so dangerous negative preaching so pope was speaking those were agasur bakasur putana kangsa they are also a big preacher they are big preacher they are preaching for krishna but negative way they are preaching hiranyakashipu hiranyaksho kongso shishupal dantavarko all they are preaching but they are preaching negative preaching if they are not if they are not going to fight with bhagwan how this kind of news news could yesterday i told na one bad news can rapidly can go here bad news can go rapidly all around that's why pope had told that we should not file one case with those people those who wanted to attack our preaching party that's why pope had told we need not file one case we need not file file one case against those uh, sahajiya those who wanted to attack us is very good how good but well, actually they wanted to attack us if we are going to give advertisement in newspaper radio station or in tv at that time tv was not there anyway it will take a big amount of money 
they have done a seva of lakhs of rupees, amounting lakhs of rupees. They attack us with brick and everything, our parikam party. So the news spread everywhere. Even the newspaper man coming and this reporter, different reporter coming, they are going to project this news in their uh, paper. So, so the name of Gauriamat preaching, very. So let them do. Let them do. It's very good. This way, most of the people, I mean most of the people, they like to hear negative preaching. That's why you cannot find any progress in the way of Hari Bhajan. If we are at all interested to hear nice, nice philosophy or drama, so why not uh, you can go to a TV star, radio star, film star, they can give you enjoyment. It is their duty. It is their duty to give enjoyment to you. Film star, radio star, TV star, they can arrange or not. A sadhu cannot arrange environment for you because they are searching your eternal environment. A sadhu cannot arrange enjoyment for you, material enjoyment, because they are going to arrange eternal enjoyment for you. That's why to come in front of a sadhu, that's why to come in front of a sadhu means to purify yourself by his darshan. Second, you can have the chance to hear some Vaikuntha Bani, transcendental knowledge, everything. This way, to approach a sadhu means to seek some absolute benefit in your life. Not that I can approach one sadhu, I can uh, try to arrange some personal benefit. This is not fishing. That's why Gauriamat fishing was so slow. Those who are foolish people, they can speak all rubbish. Let them speak. They are ignorant, they don't know. That's why the Gauriamat preaching was so slow. Because they wanted to bring about evolution in the spiritual world. No second organization, no second organization in the whole world or world universe even in the heaven you cannot find any demigods even in the heaven you cannot find him only we know Shankar Bhagavan who is staying in Kailas he is a big preacher but still externally his acharan is such common people cannot accept big problem because externally he is uh, taking the base of heartless people na? Shankar Bhagavan taking the base of heartless people with screen, no clothes, screen. After that, so many things. So it looks, you know, asses rubbing on the... But be sure, Shankar Bhagavan is the topmost preacher. Shankar Bhagavan and Naraji Maharaj, both of them are topmost preacher. It is confirmed in Bhagavatam. Anywhere you go through Bhagavatam, you can find either Narad Vacha, Vacha Vane, Narad spoke, Narad speaking, Narad Vacha or Sankar Vacha, maximum, maximum, Narad Vacha, Sankar Vacha. We are very anxious, we are very, very anxious, we are very, very anxious. We are men, including Prabhupada, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Kesav Gusima, Siddhar Gusima, all them. We mean, I like to think, I like to think I am resting in their lotus feet. That's why we are thinking men, all those Vaishnavas. I am not Vaishnav, I am trying to become. They are all very highly anxious because of this present preaching style. Bhaktivinoda Thakur expressed 
Bhaktivinoda Thakur expressed his deep concern. Bhaktivinoda Thakur wanted to express his deep concern 150 years back. 150, 150 years back. He wanted to express this kind of deep concern. Bhaktivinoda Thakur realized someday some generation coming, they can preach like mad. Their target is to collect money, give enjoyment to people, false honor to people, this way. Because people, they have no idea about what is what is. They have no idea. So it is very easy to make fool of them. Foreign devotees, most of them very simple hearted. They have, most of them no complication. They are foolish, okay, but they, they are not. So it is very easy to make fool of them. I can speak some uh, jig jack, I can make some jugglery of jugglery of philosophy and make fool of them, I can get money. Even they are so clever. For preaching they are going outside. But they are making drama. Suppose one function there, they are going to organize. The Acharya who is going for preaching, he is supposed to speak. But he's so clever, he's so clever, he is going to make drama. He's going to make drama. He is going to speak. Actually, I have come here to hear from you all. Uh, so you speak, I hear. So that the time can come down. Within 10 minutes, he can speak some rubbish. So clever. They are so clever. New devotee is coming. They know it is. Uh, he is hearing such a harikatha, it is not possible for us to approach right, exact way, approach directly, he cannot obey me. So they are going to play in such a trick, so that they can bring them, they can bring them to hell. So they go, actually our magazine is going to be published, so we write one, we, you, you must write one article too us. You think how they are clever. Why you are going to ask one article from one bonded soul? Why not you speak some harikatha about Prabhupada Bhakti Mithra to them? To increase their concern, you are so clever. If you are going to ask one bonded soul to write one article, you can think I am a very important personality. So the Acharya is asking one article from me. You can feel popped up. At the same time, you can jump into hell because they are only living in hell very easily. I like to put, I like to put question to those acharyas. You need article. You need article. First of all, you say you need article. You touch Gita, Nishingadev. You need article, nice article. I can show you. Countless articles written by Bhakti Thakur, Pahupad, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. You are so clever like crow. You are so clever, you are clever like a crow. To make a devotee fall down. They are already fall down. They are fallen so. You will have to help them. You will have to extend your helpful hand to bring them up. But you are going to play a nice trick. All over the world, this kind of message should go so that foolish people they can understand the trick they are playing in the name of preaching. I am not expressing my concern. Like dog, day and night, I am ready to bark for you all on behalf of my Guru work. I don't feel tired. But main point is that Bhakti Thakur, Prabhupada, they all express a deep concern. Nobody interested to speak, nobody interested to speak about what Gauranga Mahapur told exactly. Long ago, 150 years back, 100 years back, 120 years, all our Guru Varga there, very expressed deep concern about this. In Chaitanya Mahat, Prabhupada wanted to establish such a high idealism which is not even available in heaven. In heaven, you think our Guru Bhargava, they are foolish. 
You think so? You want to criticize them? You don't know the kind of idealism shown by Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Prabhupada, Bhakti Nath Thakur, Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. This kind of idealism is not available in heaven. I can challenge you. Not available. Who can show idealism? Indra can show idealism? A Barun can show idealism? Who can show idealism? You think our Guru is very cheap. You are Mayavadi. You are going to criticize. You don't know the position of our Guru Varga. Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Kesu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Pumat Puri Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Hida Panadu Goswami, Bhakti Pumat Titu. How is the Goswami Maharaj? How the high? Even demigods they are coming to pay Dandavat and to a little speech of our Guru Varga. You have no idea. You think I am speaking false philosophy. You think so. But I am not speaking false philosophy. I can give so many examples. So many examples. One day Guru Maharaj in Purushottam Dham is doing bhajan alone inside room. Nobody is there. Fourth floor. Fourth floor, third floor. Half, topmost. Doing bhajan. I enter the room, paid on the wall. Guru Maharaj speaking. You look somebody is there. He is speaking, Guru Maharaj speaking. You look, my boy, somebody there waiting for somebody. But it is just window, big window, roadside window, roadside. Meaning if you look through the window, you can see the road. So who can come there? Who can, it's a roadside window. Only ghost can come or demigods can come. No support, na? it's a roadside window. But Guru Maharaj speaking, you see, is absolutely nobody there. But see, so many light there, so many light. I was surprised, well, I, somebody waking. Some demigod came to see, take the darshan of Bhakti Mahal. Many times it happened so. Many times it happened so in the life of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Mahal Puri Goswami, those exalted devotees. Not new. Bangshidas Babaji Maharaj usually not going anywhere. But sometime by the inspiration by the inspiration of Bhagavan. Because devotees, they are not running fancifully. Devotees, be sure, devotees they are not running fancifully. They are running has some purpose. Why they are traveling here and to deliver common soul? That's why Yudhishthir Maharaj, that's why Yudhishthir Maharaj told to Vidurji Maharaj, where are you gone? We are searching for you, crying. Yudhishthir Maharaj crying. Where are you gone? Leaving us. You, we enjoying your affection 100%. But where are you gone? Leaving us. Uh, if you say you have gone to different pilgrimage, you say, you gone to some different, you have gone to some different pilgrimage. But pilgrimage, you yourself is one kind of topmost pilgrimage. We don't believe. If we are resting there in Guru Charan, Guru Charan, in Guru Charan, we can find all different pilgrimage present. You have no, I can show you Shastra. I can open Shastra and show you. All different important pil all pilgrimage resting unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma unto the lotus feet of Nityananda. But you don't believe. That's why out of your chanchal vab you are running here and there. Yudhishthir Maharaj speaking to Yudhishthir Maharaj speaking to Vidurji Maharaj. Vidurji Maharaj is uncle na. Vidhiji Maharaj uncle. But Yudhishthir Maharaj never think he is an uncle. Because pure devotees, they are not going to link any man or any object in relation to material thing. Never. Bhakti Thakur never in his whole life wanted to say, Vimala Prasad Saraswati is my son. Or Vimala Prasad Saraswati Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami never told Bhakti Thakur is my father. They never told. 
is a miracle. So, Yudhishthira Maha speaking, Mahat Vichalanam Nina, ah, no, actually, uh, uh, actually, Naraji Maharaj, uh, Yudhishthira Maha speaking, Bhavat Bhida Bhagavataha Tirthi Bhuta Swayam Bhavo, Prabhu. Hey Prabhu, you yourself is the topmost pilgrimage. I mean, every old pilgrimage is there present. It's wonder you are going for a pilgrimage. But you. That's why Yudhishthira Maharaj is going to unveil the topmost secrecy of pure Sadhu Guru Vaishnava. Yudhishthira Maharaj speaking, Bhavad Vida Bhagavataha. You are Bhagavat, na? Viduji Maharaj is Mahabhagavat. Bhavad Vida, a Bhagavat like you, itself a Tirtha. Bhavad Vida Bhagavataha. Tirthi Bhuta Swayam Pivo. Tirthi Kurvanti Tirthani. You are going to recharge. You are going to recharge all different pilgrimage. You are going to different pilgrimage to recharge those. It is a duty of Sadhu Guru Vaishnava. They are going to pilgrimage. But pilgrimage, they are different because sinful personalities are coming. Very, very dirty people kind. So the Tirtha going to lose his charge. Tirtha, all different pilgrimage, going to lose charge. To recharge, how, who can do recharge? So pure sadhu going there and they are singing the glories of Bhagavan, going to recharge. Yudhishthira is speaking. Bhavad Bida Bhagavataha Tirthi Bhutha Swayam Prabhu. Tirthi kurvanti tirthani, santa stena gada vrita. Because Bhagavan is resting inside your heart. Gada vrita. Bhagavan resting in your heart. So if you go to any place, that place becomes pure. Why people, why, why dirty people, fallen people, why dirty people, fallen people, when they are coming in front of sadhu, why they are feeling some reaction? Because Bhagavan is resting inside your heart. That's why the power of their speech is so much. Power of their speech is so much that the one one word can go and penetrate their heart like bullet and change their heart. So many strokes I can speak. Mahat bichalanam ninam gihi nam dino chetasam nisriya sayo nonnotha kalpate kachit. This kind of slok, so many slok I can. Vasudev Ji Maharaj speaking to Narada. You are traveling, you are traveling, your movement is for the benefit of all bonded soul. Your traveling is for the benefit of bonded soul. Because you have no self-interest, you are traveling. Your traveling is for the benefit of bonded soul as well. So many things I remember. Bhagavan, by the blessing of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Brahmaji was also one kind of preacher. Because if he is not going to give us Brahma Sangita, how we could know about the direct relation of one Acharya like Brahma? So he is also Acharya. When Brahma is going to give mantra, I mean all advice of Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan to Naraji Maharaj, he is also Acharya. Not Acharya, topmost Acharya, big Acharya. There is two procedure through which, there is two procedure, channel, through which a Prakita Dibba Gyan Arkya Pratika Gyan Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan coming to us. One is Nigam, one is Agam. Nigam means Veda through perceptual channels. Krishna is the Chaturmo, Bhai Krishna Sevan with this. Second is Agam, is coming from Sankarshan, Anantadev, is going to Sankar Bhagavan, this way channel. 
Sankhayan, this way. So two channels, two procedure. Two channels. Through this two channel of Prakito Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan, full of realization. Not, not dry knowledge. Coming to us through two, through two channels, two different channels. And after that, there can be some branches, but Originally coming from two channels. And you will have to get established in any channel out of these two, according to your luck. Like according to my luck, I mean according to, according to the blessing of Guru Bhargava, I discover myself in the channel of Nigam. Krishna Ita Chaturmuk, or Krishna Sivanmuk, this line. Or somebody can be there in that channel. It's not a bad same same thing. After that we can we can we can after that we can see that according to the desire of Bhagavan, some four sampradaya, four authentic sampradaya appear. It is by the desire of Bhagavan. It is by the desire of Bhagavan, four authentic sampradaya appear in the material world to give benefit to us, absolute benefit. If I ask you, don't try to maintain, no, don't try to maintain false ego inside your heart. It is my request unto your lotus feet. Try to be free at least of any false ego. Otherwise, some Prejudicial conception, some biasness can contaminate your teachings. You cannot learn properly. You can play your own brain, oh, this is not good, this is bad. So contamination, you cannot. If I ask you, Prabhu, I need some Ganga water, can you bring? Could you please bring some? You can say yes. But you are going to some other river, I am going to collect water from. That river. I say, you bring Ganga water. You say, I go on to that river and I say, you to bring Ganga. Oh, all the same. No, all the same. But all water. H2O, as per chemistry formula, H2O, all same. But as per your opinion, it is same. It is not actually same. If I ask you to bring Ganga water, come on. You will have to go to Ganga stream any stream of Ganga, to bring Ganga water. But if you go to some other place and collect water, you can say, I bring water. You bring Ganga water. We're all the same. Water is water. No. No, man. So, similarly, if you say, I am in this society, I am in these branches, all the same. No. Mathematically, like, mathem like mathematics, I can prove, you have done mistake. You are not, if you are not in authentic sampradaya, you are not, if you are not in authentic sampradaya, if you are not, you know, going to accept authentic guru who is already in, in, a, in a perceptual channel, I mean, uh, Sautabhani Parampara, then you are cheated. Maybe you are 80 years age, 90 years age, what is concerned? You cannot get benefit. So if I ask Ganga water, you will have to go to Ganga. Anyway, Ganga water I told, you can go to Himalaya to get, that's up to you. If I go to Banaros, Banaros Ganga, okay, Elahabad Ganga, but you will have to go to Ganga stream. Any Ganga stream, I mean you will have to check up from which place Ganga flowing, you will have to go to that, that particular channel and collect. Ganga water. Not that like a crazy, like a sahajiya. Ah, you can say all the same. No. How same? How same? Similarly, if you are not going to accept, similarly, if you are not going to accept perfect Sauta Parampara, life after life, billions of life, 
you will have to travel and travel and travel. Because you cannot find any clue. Nobody inform you. The Sahaja can say, Gauriyamad is useless, don't go there. They are useless, they have no parampara, nothing. They can criticize. This way, even in our sampradaya, they can guide you. Don't go to San Baba. Ah, no. So what I can do? I am very happy. Who coming, who going? What is concerned to me? Because I am going to speak Harikatha for the entire satisfaction of Supreme Lord, not for you. If I have some weakness to get some la puja patishta garland from you, surely Harikatha cannot come out of my tongue. Harikatha can come when I can depend upon Sautopantha, Guru Bhargava. Then I can speak some word. Otherwise, not possible. Four authentic sampraday, you know, you know, Nimbarka sampraday, Vishnu Swami, Vishnu Swami sampraday, Nimbarka sampraday, Ramanuja sampraday, Madhacharya. If you search out, you can find different, different top original acharya. You can find. In Ramanuja Sampradaya, you can find Lakshmi Devi, Sri, Sri Sampradaya. In Madhya Sampradaya, you can find Brahma, original. Vishnu Swami Sampradaya, you can find, you know, in Vishnu Swami Sampradaya, you can find Chatushan, uh, yes, Sankarshan. In Imbarka Sampradaya, you can find Chatushan. This way, each and a four authentic Sampradaya. Try to get my point. Anyhow, 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 one Jivatma, anyhow, one Jivatma must come. Any of these four authentic supplies. But it is, it is more practical to come to this Madhya Gaudiya Sampadaya. Even not Madhya Sampadaya. Madhya Gaudiya Sampadaya. It's more practical because you are going to get the topmost thing. Because the, because, the, because the treasure distributed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never been distributed by Ramchandra or Narayan, never. So more practical. But I am not going to put pressure on you. What I mean to say, in general, I am speaking, any of these four sampradaya you can come. If we are going to get deviated from the Sampradaya, then no possibility of getting this knowledge. Out of your biasness, you can shout all the same, what problem? You can shout, but not same. Sampradaya vihina je mantraha te nisphala mataha. Without the link, without any link, without any link of Four authentic sampradaya, any one of four authentic, without any link, without any link of four, any of these four authentic sampradaya, your knowledge is not perfect. Even if you go, if you, even if you like to join uh, one Ramanandi sampradaya, I am not going to criticize. I respect them, okay. You are far better than me. But what I like to say, now I am in neutral platform. Now I am in neutral platform. I have to speak the truth. <coughs> so if you even if you go to Ramanandi Sampradaya, I can say, man, come. If you go to directly to Ramanuja Sampradaya, it's more practical. Because their line is deviated. The line is deviated, no? Not exactly the teachings of Ramanuja. The demand that we are following Ramanuja, but not that. You go that side of river, if you speak to any Babaji Sahajya, that you are Sahajya, they can become very angry. They can fight you, too, even can beat you. But it is 100% sure that they are following Sahajya rules. Gauriyama never speaking any Sahajya rules. I, I mean to say, without Gauriya Mat, 
I can solemnly say, I have so much, you know, confidence that without Gauriyamat, if you go anywhere, you cannot get benefit like what you, what you are supposed to get from. It's top most. But what they are contaminating Gauriya society, Gauriya Mat can never be contaminated. It is transcendental reality. Those who are foolish idiots staying in Gauriya society, I can never say that they are in Gauriya Mat. Their activities, their character, their behavior, their speaking, their doing, all rubbish. I mean, even more dangerous than Sahajiya. Even more dangerous than those Sahajiya. I am neutral position. I am bound to speak this way. Even more dangerous. <clears throat> because this kind of idealism can destroy all everything. This kind of idealism, what they are showing, it is not the idealism of Gauriman. So, it's very dangerous. About preaching, Prabhupada was so practical, so punctual. One or two incidents I can speak, you can go mad. Prabhupada was so much interested, heart and soul. By heart and soul, Prabhupada wanted to distribute the mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Many of our Guru Varga, they used to go for preaching in different places. Okay, they can go. One day, Prabhupada going to give instruction to Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. You can remember, tall figure. One day, Popad giving information. One day in Chaitanya Mahal, Popad giving information to Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj through, through some Bhamachari. That Popad asking you to go for preaching to that place today, afternoon time. Popad advising you to go to that place for preaching in the afternoon time. Then in the, when in the afternoon time, Prabhupada entered the library, Prabhupada sing to the Brahmachari, with which book Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj went for preaching? Some, some book must be there, no? like one book must be there. With which book? The Brahmachari speaking, I saw, I saw uh, Srila Bharati Maharaj going to carry Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam? He should carry Chaitanya Bhagavatam to teach us, for our teaching. Baba speaking, it is ours, it is our sole duty. It was our ultimate duty to distribute the keep of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I know Krishna is very merciful, but Krishna Gauranga also, Krishna coming in the form of Gauranga, and there is no restriction. Gauranga Mahaprabhu wanted to distribute kipa, kipa, kipa to everybody. So why not? Why is going to carry Bhagavatam? Why not going to carry Chaitanya Bhagavatam? It's more practical for us. So, I am discussing about some preaching because Uddhavji Maharaj is a topmost preacher. Tomorrow I can discuss that before sending Naraji Maharaj, for preaching, before sending Naradji Maharaj for preaching, our Brahmaji wanted to give some knowledge. After that, requested him, my son, you will have to preach this way, not that way. I can discuss about this point tomorrow. Now, you can remember. That Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to make, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to make, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to make Uddhavji Maharaj a topmost preacher. I told you. The only reason behind it is to guide people appropriate way. In course of time, somebody can see, in course of time, Somebody can speak something. 
Somebody can speak something or different. But for preaching, this kind of procedure is not at all allowed. It is not at all allowed. Preaching means you will have to, you are bound, you know, your father, your grandfather bound to speak about what is written there in Sautapantha. You have no right to change the track. I can discuss about this point tomorrow. You understand what? Actually, we are sitting to fill the heart of Prabhupada. I am sitting for Harikatha to fill the heart of Prabhupada. This is my Harikatha. Always I like to feel. I, do. I cannot understand, but still I always like to feel what is the mood of Prabhupada. This is my preaching. This is my Harikatha. So tomorrow I can show you how exclusive way Brahma wanted to give some special advice to Naraji Maharaj before sending him to preaching field. So now we find, we already saw yesterday that Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to keep Uddhavji Maharaj as a representative. Representative is not a matter of joke. If my Guru Maharaj is going to send me to some place, I can represent my Guru Maharaj. Same thing happened. When Prabhupada have no time, when Prabhupada find no time to go any place, Prabhupada giving instruction to some devotee, some disciple. Like the case of Jajavar Goswami Maharaj. Srila Jajavar Goswami Maharaj was from a very nice Brahmin family, Uriya Brahmin family, very nice. But he was not highly educated. We think for preaching, high education is okay. If high education is there, no problem. But the basic thing that you must be in line with Gurudev. High education is there. Suppose I will speak, I know, if I go somewhere, if, if newspaper reporter coming, asking me, if I cannot give answer, big problem, na? Many times it happens so. In Jalandhar, in Ropar, I don't know, I'm speaking. A reporter sitting there, I don't know. He's catching or writing. I'm speaking Arigata. Next day, it was published in newspaper. Same thing happened. So, can in Batinda also. Every day, reporter used to come and tell some gist of my speech. But I'm not speaking. Some there he used to. So, preaching doesn't mean that you will have to maintain some aristocracy or this, that, not that. Preaching, simple devotee can do preaching provided his character, behavior, or your Siddhanta Vichar, love for Guru Vaishnava and all common people are catchy. People are attracted, man. Why people feeling attraction? Because Guru Vishnu loved them. Not material love. Pure love they have. They are going to see the whole world in relation to Bhagavan Sri Krishna. That's why each and every creature they love. So high education, if they are at all, no problem, can be there. But it is not the vital factor. I know so many preachers, even they cannot sign, they can put if they, if you ask them to uh, put one signature, uh, put in and, and put this. I can show you, I can show you, I can take you with me and so. Not they are not there, gone from this material world, but they are the big preachers. They go into Brahma here, they cannot read any book. Cannot signature, but they are good. Because preaching means they are going to propagate. They are going to propagate the I know the bhakti. I mean the kripa. He is a recipient. 
I know Parvat Baba, uneducated. He was a gate man. He is a Nepali, Nepali, you know Nepali? From Nepal, original from Nepal. Gate man, gate man. But he was the great preacher because he was able to catch the Kripa of Bhakti Deva Madhav Goswami. If you ask me to speak the name of some disciple of Bhakti Deva Madhav Goswami, surely I can include, include the name of Parvat Maharaj. Not that he is uneducated, he was God man, so I can. I can include, if you want to ask me, you can speak uh, uh, the name of some important devotees of Srila Bhakti Vita Mahadev Goswami. I must include his name. I must include, because I know. I know how. So you can go deep and deep into this kind of feeling, what I am going to speak to you. Not with upper upper design, shape and design, upper, not that. I have to go deep into this philosophy. Well, I mean feeling. Philosophy means? My philosophy means feeling. My philosophy is not devoid of any feeling, direct feeling. It's not false philosophy. So this way, tomorrow I can show you how exclusively Naraji Maharaj giving some instruction to I, Brahmaji going to give some instruction to Naraji before. He had also, <coughs> Uddhavji Maharaj has started told Prabhu, we are not afraid of Maya. This is not our false ego. <coughs> Don't take it otherwise. It is not our false ego. We can conquer Maya very easily <coughs> because we are taking all your prasadam. <coughs> we are taking all your prasadam. Prasadam in kipa. Your harikatha we are hearing. Taking your prasadam. We are going to meet with some devotee on this way. We are getting prasadam anyway. Kipa prasadam. So we are not afraid of maya. You can also remember Akadoshi Kirtan, you know, Akadoshi Kirtan, written by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Akadoshi Kirtan, forget. Huh? You don't remember. In Akadoshi Kirtan, it is written, no. In Akadoshi Kirtan, you know, fine. Prasada Seva Korite Hai Shakala Propancha Jayo. Is there? <laughs> but you forget. Jedine grihete bhajana dekhi grihete goloko bhayo. This place becomes Golok Vrindavan. You can believe, you cannot believe. That's up to you. But it is written in Sastra. It is written in different Sastra. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur also going to confirm this point. The day we find very nice bhajan in one place, that place become, I mean, Golok Vrindavan can appear. Jedinik, even if you are Grihastha, even, suppose you are Grihastha, even in your room, if there is nice bhajan, then Golok can, Vrindavan. That's why, when, some relative of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, forcefully they came and took Bhaktivinoda Thakur at their home. Because Bhaktivinoda Thakur was manifesting sickly. Some people criticize. Why those relatives? Because that time Prabhupada was not there. Bimala Prashasa, Prabhupada was not Prabhupada was some busy. When Prabhupada was here, Prabhupada was shocked. Huh? They take Thakur. They take Thakur Bhaktivinoda there. Calcutta, oh my God. Because Prabhupada was not at all ready to allow Prabhupada to go there. Anyway, anyway, we have no right to criticize about Bhakti Thakur. Because wherever Bhakti Thakur is staying, it is Vrindavan. 
This Siddhanta already confirmed many times I told. When Gauranga Mahapur going anywhere, Adhaitu Goza told, Oh, Nithyananda speaking lie to me. He misguided me, I come to Navadip. It's not Vindavan. Adhaitu Goza speaking, Oh, it is not Jamuna. I thought I am taking bath in Jamuna. Prabhu, it is not, it is not wrong. Whenever you are staying, it is Vrindavan. Advaita Gosai, come on, topmost preacher. Advaita Gosai, even before Gauranga Mahaprabhu taking birth, who is the topmost preacher? If you ask me who is the topmost preacher, I can say Advaita Gosai. Because even before Gauranga Mahaprabhu appeared, Advaita Gosai started preaching about Bhagavan and calling Bhagavan so that Bhagavan is bound to come here. So I can glorify. Advaita Gosai top. So, he is the topmost uh, you know, preacher and he is speaking to Mahaprabhu. Prabhu. Actually, Nityananda is not speaking lie. Wherever you are staying, <coughs> wherever you are staying, it is Vindavan. <coughs> wherever you are staying, it is called Vindavan, no problem. And the, now, you, <coughs> now you have taken bath in Jamuna. Because that side of the river is, it is a system. You can go to Allahabad also see different colors of water. Here also you can see at the confluence. Some water black, some water white. Perhaps you have seen, na? Water color not. No, you are not gone. You can see. You go, uh, it's color changing. Black color, white color, some other color. So due to the color of water. So, Advaita Goza speaking that Nityananda is not speaking lie. It's right. Where you are staying, it is called Vrindavan. And at the same time, the river in which you have taken bath right now, it is actually Yamuna. Because in the Ganga flow, because in the Ganga flow, right side in Ganga, left side, I mean this side. Left, right, right now actually, Eastern John Gang, uh, Eastern John Jamuna. No, actually, this part is Jamuna and that part is Ganga. Somebody taking to go that side. I mean, can be no right calculation should be done. Anyway, <coughs> so Mahaprabhu is taking uh, taking bath in Jamuna. So those who are taking the prasadam in two sense. If you say, Maharaj, daily I am taking Jagannath Prasadam, but I am not coming out of my... I say, you are not taking Prasadam. Actually, you are not taking... Because you think you are taking Prasadam. But with full belief, and full faith, you will have to take. Na? With full faith, you have to take bath. Jiva Goswami Bhatt giving some evidence. If some man going to take bath in Ganga, he has no respect for Ganga, nothing. He can go to some Sukriti, little bit. Jiva Goswami is speaking, those who have fish, those who have fish, and aquatic element, they are also staying in Ganga. So they can get the result of staying in Ganga, because they, with full consciousness they are staying. You will have to do with full consciousness. So, Ganga Bath is very good with full faith and respect. You have to imagine, you have to think, remember that the place, this is the stream of Ganga where Gauranga Mahapu used to take bath and swim. Very nice place. This way, <coughs> Gauranga Mahapu. So, this way Mahaprabhu uh, used to. So, our Uddhavji Maharaj speaking, Prabhu, we are going to enjoy, we are going to take all your prasadam. Not enjoy, we are going to take all your prasadam. Tayo Pabhukta Sraga Gandha Basu Alankar Charchita Uchishta Bhojino Dasahastava Mayam Jai Mahi. Tayo Pabhukta Sraggandha Basu Alankar Charchita 
उच्छिष्ट भोजिनो दास स्तव मायाम जय मही प्रभु वी कैन कंक्लूड योर माया वेरी इजीली बिकॉज ऑल द टाइम यू आर टेकिंग वी आर वी योर सर्वेंट वी ऑल योर सर्वेंट ऑल इज टेकिंग प्रसाद योर गार्लैंड वी आर टेकिंग योर उच्छिष्ट वी आर टेकिंग योर क्लोथ वी आर टेकिंग ऑल उच्छिष्ट वी आर टेकिंग योर चांदन your ornament all we are taking uddhav ji maharaj uddhav ji maharaj not using uddhav ji maharaj not using anything which is not prasad all all prasad uddhav ji maharaj going to yeah. <coughs> so is big this way <coughs> now when bhagwan sikh is no speaking actually uddhav ji maharaj requesting so many thing if i discuss you will take long time bhagwan sikh is no in front of bhagwan sikh krishna uddhav ji maharaj speaking that if you at all like to keep me as a represent as your representative so you are to i am foolish You have to teach me. Then Bhagwan says, no, "Okay, if you like to, it is a pre-arrangement. It is a pre-arrangement because if Bhagwan says is not going to speak to Arjun, and if you, Arjun is not there in that kind of foolish position, then who can speak to whom? Arjun is bound to stand on this kind of platform. It seems Arjun is foolish. Then Krishna speaking." <coughs> सो उद्धव जी महाराज वैन वॉन्ट टू एक्ट दिस वे सो भगवान श्री कृष्ण भगवान श्री कृष्ण गोइंग टू गिव एडवाइस टू उद्धव जी महाराज उद्धव जी महाराज स्पीकिंग जोगेशो जोग विन्यासो जोगात्मन जोग संभव निश्चय सायो मे प्रोक्त त्याग संन्यास लक्षण उद्धव जी महाराज आस्किंग टू कृष्ण हे जोगेश असमर इट इज रिटीन जोगेश्वरेश्वर जोगेश्वर जोग विन्यास जोगात्मन जोग संभव निश्चय साय मे प्रक्त त्याग संन्यास लक्षण उद्धव आस्किंग हे जोग विन्यास Who is the original cause of all yoga? Yoga means concentration. So, if we say Krishna is a yogi swara, we can say Krishna is the topmost yogi because he is to concentrate him, concentrate his mind unto himself. Or I could, I would say more precisely, he is going to concentrate inside his sarup shakti. I mean, unto the lotus feet of Radha Rani. so if i can if i am successful to meditate unto a lot of speed of radharani then i am naturally i can get the highest benefit na so <coughs> uddha speaking he jogesha joga vinyasa jogatmana ha joga sambhava ha any yoga is possible by your mercy no yoga possible if bhagwan not going to bless no yoga nobody can come out <coughs> so bhagwan and uddhav uddhav ji mara speaking he already wanted to speak some symptom of sanyas i am going to cut short because if i go back it will take long time i am going to touch the main because if i that it will not permit time because time is approaching today eight days gone like wind so Bhagwan Singh has already told something about uh, the symptom of sanyas. Also in Gita, Bhagwan told to Arjuna about the main and vital symptom of sanyas. Many times he told you forget. 
गेहूँ से नित्य सन्यासी जो न देष्टि न कांखित भगवान स्पीकिंग नो इट फॉर श्योर ही इज ही इज सन्यासी फॉर एवर ही इज सन्यासी फॉर एवर ही इज सन्यासी हु हैज नो डिजायर इन इज लाइफ सो बी इफ इफ if she is mata ji that's not a big factor that's not a big factor because sanyas we relate this sanyas brato with body also because otherwise big problem now you have body but by body speech and mind if you are inclined unto the lotus feet of bhagwan by the body speech and mind if i inclined you are serving bhagwan to the best to the best of our possibility that is called sanyas bhav sanyas brato sanyas bhav so it is a, so in gita bhagwan speaking gyahu no it for sure that he is sanyas for ever who is having no desire nothing gyahu so nitya sanyasi nitya mane eternal actually bhagwan the eternal those who have no desire no deshti no kankhati we have no enmity with anybody even somebody going to express somebody going to express some you know jealousy bhava to do something harm but still it is the duty of sadhu not to express not to not to take revenge against that okay let them do let them do when tulsidas ji maharaj you heard the name of tulsidas who is the compiler of ramayan very sweet ramayan when some body speak some body speaking tulsidas ji he is always criticizing you speaking all rubbish about you tulsidas is smiling as okay you can uh, you can request him to stay with me i can make one bhajan kutir for him out of my own expenses when what i am what uh, out of begging what is coming i can spend that money to make one bhajan kutir uh, beside me he say you don't understand what i mean to say he is criticizing you he is speaking all rubbish to say that is why i am speaking he is criticizing he is going to find my fault that is why i may say i can make one bhajan kutri in front of me what do you mean but he can go on finding fault with me i can try to rectify because i am bonded so i cannot see my fault somebody has to indicate somebody has to indicate na you cannot find your own fault she cannot find own fault everybody can think i am in right position so somebody has to my guru ma is going you are doing wrong so if he is there he can find you are doing wrong you are doing wrong i can rectify myself and the more i am successful to rectify myself i will go to bhagavan is very good so to see everything positive way is called bhagavan even somebody like to attack somebody like mahaprabhu like case of mahaprabhu you see bhattathari they are taking cutter cutter to cut mahaprabhu ha ah! are what is the, what is the fault with mahaprabhu can you show any fault with mahaprabhu mahaprabhu just going to request that you are sanyasi i am sanyasi you are going to take my you know uh, sevak i mean who is there with me you are taking to you by showing them lucrative offer of woman but is is not good na mahaprabhu this much mahaprabhu told only this much you sanyasi i am you going to give me pen what is this bas they like to take carter and like to cut mahaprabhu running to cut mahaprabhu but their carter they slip from their hand and falling on their their carter slip from their hand they like to cut but their carter slip from their hand or their carter going to fall on their head and down oh they started crying oh they started crying Mahaprabhu never wanted to kill them. Mahaprabhu only wanted to say, "What, what wrong I have done? You see, I have done any wrong to you? I am sanyasi. You are sanyasi. You are going to keep trouble. My devotee, you like to take away from me. 
This is the mood. When Buddhist, Buddha, their leader, they wanted to contaminate Mahaprabhu. Contamination is very big problem. Always you must be very careful about any kind of contamination. Contamination is such a thing, if slight contamination there, you can lose, lose all your bhajan power. You have to think about contamination all the time, regarding eat, taking prasadam, regarding clothes, regarding sitting, going, all the time. Then you can grow your consciousness very much. Contamination. But main impurity is that, main impurity, Main contamination is that we cannot think about Bhagavan or Guru Vaishnava inside. That is main contamination. Outside contamination is also important, not so. But main contamination is there inside my heart. To remember Bhagavan, to remember Bhagavan all the time and not to forget Bhagavan, that is the main purity. That is why I told that day, Satatam smartabya vishnum, vismartabhyam no jatu uchit. Satatam smartabhyam vishnum, vismartabhyam no jatu uchit. To remember Bhagavan is a rule and not to, not to forget Bhagavan is a, you know, <coughs> restriction, I mean, prohibited. <coughs> and also, we are, we are, when we are going to take water and sprinkle, you know, here, this. Apavitra vapavitra va sarva avastha gato pibha jasparetva kan pundarika aksham savajyavan vayyamantaram suchi. This we say. Take konga water and speak. They're speaking, huh? You forget. This mantra, you don't know. Pavitra va apavitra va sarva avastha gato pibha jasparetva kan pundarika aksham savajyavantaram suchi. But this kind of thing is not so easy. You'll have to practically do. Uh, not, uh, not that, uh, oh, Maharaj, in mantra is easy, so I can do this way. No. You have to remember that way. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to speak. Uh, Bhagavan Sri Krishna already spoke before. I mean, these topics already. So, Gyaho sa nitya sanyasi jona deshti no kankati. Who has no hostility with anybody. He, one sadhu is very friendly with the whole world. But, if somebody going to, going against Guru Vaishnava and devotion and practice, he will be angry. It's a symptom. It's very much friendly with the whole world. But, who is going to insult Gauriyama, insult Prabhupada, insult Siddhanta Bhisha, then he becomes very young. This is, a, this is a symptom of devotional figure. He is a devotional figure. He is doing devotion. I mean, I have my eternal listen, relationship with Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta sir. If somebody is going to criticize, I have my eternal relation with Kesav Maharaj, Siddhar Maharaj. And a Gosai Maharaj, if somebody going to, I cannot tolerate. This is called bhakti. This is called bhakti to speak, to give fitting answer. People think just opposite. To give fitting answer, right answer to them, to, to make them, to make them shut up. It is called bhakti. If you keep silence, you can lose your bhakti. Papa speaking. So, Gyaho Sanitya Sanyasi no Jona Deshti no Kankati. What no hostility with any, any prani, any, any creature, no hostility. I can speak about the character of one hunt, hunter who ultimately was converted into Vaishnava by Naraji. Even he is less interested to kill one ant, ant, you know, ant. You know, so, so I can discuss this point tomorrow. So Bhagavan, our Uddhavji Maharaj speaking, Prabhu, you have already spoken about uh, sannyas uh, uh, symptom. 
I like to know more in details about. So, so here. So, Jono Destino Kang, who has, who has no desire, no annavilas. Sannyasi with annavilas is absurd. When you are going to take sannyas, I can think that you are now in the right position to take sannyas. If you are weak inside your heart, feeling weakness for woman, this, you are going to, what is this? For infinity period, they can go to hell. Mahaprabhu can never excuse them. Mahaprabhu can never excuse them, Vishya. So, no desire inside heart. First point. No enmity with him. I can clarify this point tomorrow anyway. So, try to uh, digest all very important Siddhanta Bhishar. If you miss, if you cannot, because all the time same Siddhanta I cannot speak. It is the ocean. Anantaparam kila sabda sastram. So, every day I cannot speak same thing. I have to speak new, new thing in infinity. Tadevaram mam ruchiram navam navam tadeva sashyat manuso mahasavam tadeva so karnava soshanam ninam jaduttam sroka jaso anugi yate one chakal patrosi ke pass in the bush. Pachitanam pavanubho vishna vyo namo namo. You will have to digest all Harikatha, not only here. Like Gomata taking grass at a time. Gomata at a time taking straw and you know, grass at a time. But after that lizard time, chewing. Here, keep. Come out and chewing. So you have to do. If you are successful to chew and digest, then I think uh, this Harikatha is more. One Kartik Harikatha can change whole. One Kartik Brata Harikatha can change whole everything.